my nerd fans out there, this is Mr. Chill here. And I want to talk to you guys about a comic book that I like also. Done by Josh and Williams. I just got done talking about a video for him today. But this is a one shot, not one shot, but it's a new little mini book by Black Label. I don't know if you know about Black Label. Black Label is like basically a mature version. It's own universe of um, hardcore version of DC universe. Basically AMD rules. I remember there was nudity once and drugs, violence, pretty cool. It's just cool stories the, the writers create. They feel like they want to go off the rail a little bit. They go with Black Label. And I want to talk to you about the rogues. This rogue story is actually, I kind of wanted to do a movie on, but it's a young younger version of them, of a big heist. I don't know you know about the rogues. So the rogues contain with like um, Captain Cold, Heat Wave, Golden Glider, uh, Trickster, Weather Wizard, sometimes Captain Boomerang back in the past. Um, those were the rogues. Uh, Mirror Master, um, those were the rogues. They were pretty cool. Basing Flash's villain, basing Central City. Um, they're really cool. Um, and basically the story take, it's basically about um, Captain Cold Hole. What, the group was in the bar. They just got done with the bank guys celebrating. And they hear uh, Captain Cold overheard a gorilla talking about Oh, Gorilla Greta doesn't need money. And, um, he, he lives in the city of gold and all that stuff. And that's why he never goes for money. He goes for power mostly now. Um, so that was in, stuck in Captain Cold's head because he heard that. Because like, hmm, they're a bunch of bank robbers. The rogues are just bank robbers. Criminals that rob banks to get money, get rich. Pretty cool bank group. Or, like, kind of like um, uh, Ocean 13, 11. Like those um, uh, kind of movies. They're bank robbers. Or, um, uh, I keep, uh, keep forgetting, um, uh, I keep forgetting bank robber movies. Like, Town, yeah, basically like Town. Have you seen Town with, uh, Ben Affleck? It's like that. Basically like that. Pretty cool. Anyways, get to the point. It takes 10 years later for that moment. They're all older now. The whole rogue group. Basically, Captain Cold, he's old, lives in the trailer house. He's in parole. Um, for no mean criminals, all the criminals are on parole. They basically can't do nothing. And he is just some middle age old dude who has tape. Uh, can't have his coat, coat gun, can't have um, any coat, Captain Cold material. The cops are on him. He's in a boring ass, boring job. Um, and they treat him like a joke, basically. That's the only reason he had these company hired him. Uh, because he's a joke, so they can't believe he's Captain Cold. People used to be scared of him, intimidate him, and um, he can never basically live a normal life, to be honest, because all the money he makes just goes back to all the damage he did over when he was a criminal. And it's kind of sad, like, he has all this debt to pay to society forever, and everyone thinks he's a joke. He can't even live a normal life. He doesn't want to live a normal life, to be honest. It's like, it's like, dude, I'm Captain Cold. Why am I living in a trailer trash? Um, have a job that my boss treats me and he's a dick to me and just a slave. Like, how can you? It's like the, asking the Joker to be a clown in the circus and don't kill no man and do anything. Nah. Like, that's why these villains would never be the same. They can never live that lifestyle like a normal society, human society's lifestyle. Heck no. So he comes up with the idea to find his former group of the rogues. They're all older, like I said, everyone's older, everyone looks more older. Um, there's two characters that are dead on the group that was uh, Boomerang and Winter Wizard. They died, they didn't say how they died, but they died. Um, so he starts recruiting his sister, his sister is married, has kids, and um, gets her involved, gets the old trickster. Trickster is basically it's pretty cool. He learned each story of these characters, what they've been doing the rest of their life, and um, Trickster's been doing uh, tricks, he's a magician. But he has black surgery, doesn't look that old. And everyone just, they all have that same feeling. That's why they're following Leonard again, because they, they left society as well. They, they left that crime life, but they feel that rush. That rush of being a villain, being something known to the world. Like they even mentioned Bras, Bras Tiger. He's a yoga student, a yoga teacher. Then they got, uh, there's a new chick in there. I forgot her name. It's like something, she's not a former villain. Um, then you've got, um, Heat Wave, Heat Wave was doing his job, I think, um, putting out fires or doing something that he hates. Uh, he's falling by, you know, Heat Wave, he's always loved fire. By the way, he was the easiest to convince because Captain Cold just popped up. Yep, yeah, I'm in. I don't care. Uh, whatever you got to do, just do it. 
And he thought he was going to take time to convince him, but he's on the board. And who else did he get? Brown Sager, Heat Wave. Uh, oh, they need a breakout Mirror Master. Mirror Master is the one that's difficult for them because he went nuts. He was actually still doing crime. They put him in asylum and crazy. He's a drug addict. Uh, he's in rehab now. And so he's all messed up. And they're, the whole thing was we need, need to break their plan because he got them all together to tell them that we are going to break in Gorilla City and still go money from Gorilla Grud. And that's pretty cool. Like, it's not a normal bank heist. They're stealing money from Gorilla Grud. Gorilla Grud, that telepath, genius, monster, uh, big threat to Flash, Justice League, Father Justice League. This is like Rogues facing a big time villain like that. Ooh, I'd be nuts. Um, so they all, and they're all old. They're like on the 50s, 60s. So they're all old. And they look cool. And uh, when they're trying to break out Mirror Master, they get surrounded. Like these. His former teammates don't kill him more. They don't fight. They don't fight with superheroes. They try and do everything peaceful so they won't get in trouble, catch away in their gadgets, any of that stuff. They don't have powers. No one have powers except for one character in here. They all use weapons and technology in events. Because uh, Captain Cold is that smart to build technology like that. So he, uh, once they got cornered by the cops by breaking out Mirror Master, he decides to bring out his favorite gun, the Cold Gun, and freeze them all and kill them. And they're all shocked, like, whoa, what are you doing? What are you doing? Then the, off the bat, he said, you guys need to get back to sh shit together. We are doing this all the way, going back to old school villains. And it looks like this cool picture right here. Uh, the Rose. He said, bring back the Rose. Basically, he has all the villains uh, walking down over Icy Corpse. It's a good story that Joshua Williams is doing. It's a bring to mature ground how villains will survive uh, normal society. Can't really survive that. He's bringing the whole group back to one bank heist to see how well that goes down. Usually stories like this falls a lot definite. I remember the one woman, um, uh, last kind of like the last uh, hero alive, she lives in the apocalypse world, was hardcore. Um, there was a lot of uh, good stories Black Label's been doing, Joker run, Hardy Quinn stories. How uh, she, another version of her, how she became the Joker's girlfriend. Black Label's really cool and hardcore. And it's a good story. I recommend checking Rogues out. It's a good story. You'll love it. Different to get off balance of like balance yourself out reading like kind of like these comic book stories that are good and everything, but they don't got the hardcoreness. I mean, you want the darkness sometimes reading like, oh, I want that realistic. How uh, uh character survive doing this? And then and leave off the like learn the villains. I always love really reading villain stories because. They have lives too. They have feelings. They have how they feel. Like I we're, we're probably gonna see the Flash in here. The Flash is involved with the Rose, or maybe a son of Flash, or a sidekick of Wally, Wally, or Wally West, something to help um see that. We see we're gonna see Gorilla Grud, obviously. Uh, how he looks in the future. Maybe some of the villains. Maybe bring in some more characters in these stories. But it's a good story. Go to your local comic book store. Check this out. The Rose. You won't be disappointed. It's a good story. I think you will all love it. And thank you for watching my videos. Please like my videos and subscribe to my channel if you want all comic book reviews. And I'll see y'all next time. And remember, stay nerdy forever. Bye.